Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2. Today with us we have a tournament game from Gunzo and Schroeder. Schroeder playing the 12th SS on the Maverick Income with Gunzo playing the 3rd Guard Tank Corp on a Maverick Income as well. Already Schroeder is going to start uh, reconning the area with the JU-188. Um, from the deployment it looks like Schroeder is not going to be very aggressive over here. And over here, either very defensive deployment compared to Gunzer, who is actually being very defensive as well. All right, so PTRS gonna start smoking the area, stopping any uh, anything from shooting down the road, leaving him time to place his units. SPW two three three over there is gonna start shooting at the PTRS forty one, but it's gonna deploy some smoke as well, save himself from defeat. ISU one fifty two. Valentine tree over there and uh, they're gonna start pushing already an IS-244 being called on the map. Wow, 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 wow. This is going down pretty solid. Uh, over here, the troops are gonna take some defensive position. Same with these ones. Uh, Panzer IV, two star coming in. The Grilly is also coming in onto the side over here to take a look at uh, what's happening into town. We have an 81 mil mortar being called in by Shkoder as part of his uh, reinforcement. Really less scary than the IS-2, but who knows? With the 81 mil Munir mortar, he could be doing some great damage to these big tanks. Um, obviously, you would need more to actually inflict some losses, but still. Anyway, this tree killed the SPW here in the town. It's uh, not a lot of things happening in the center right now. Gorilla looks like he was going to start to take some target, but it, he doesn't do anything after all. Over here, Gonzo is deployed with some Saperi, some Gavardia DP, and a uh, Hafto Camarade. SP-233 is going to start shooting at the PTRS-41. Over here, the Panzer Grenadier are taking some defensive stance uh, at the forest edge. And that's going to be really useful so they can use their their machine gun. Alright, Panther D. Führer coming in with the effective fire shot. Probably going to try to flank the IS-2 or something like that. At least it is a good defense to have another ISU-152 being called. Not a lot of gain from both players. It is a 12-12 so far. Already a 37 mil is uh, with a leader, so that's going to be a two-star 37 mil deployed on the hill there. We'll definitely uh, try to get rid of the recon because it's not good for Gonzo. Now, as Schroeder can see, is every move, basically. Now, let's take a look at what Schroeder is actually seeing with his plane. He's seeing the PTRS. He's seeing the IS-2, that's for sure. Uh, this thing is so big. And uh, so far, that's about it. Was the JU... Oh, uh, well. Yeah, you can see the big tanks arriving. Oh, you can see the placement of uh, certain units. You really have to have your eyes glued on the recon, though, to really take a good look at uh, what's deploying. You can see the tanks over there. There's a lot of things you can see, actually. Especially, they're not doing anything so far on the map. Now, because he saw these units, now he can shoot at them with the Grilly. And be sure to hit something. So, this is a pretty good... Usage of uh, classic warfare, you know, planes, recon, artillery shoots, infantry moves in. A, a real good classic. Let's go back into a neutral view. Well, wait a second. What does Gunzo see? Gunzo doesn't see a lot of things. He knows there's a grilly there. And that's about it. The power of recon, my friends. This is the power of recon. Alright, let's go back into a neutral stance. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. All of these pinned down units are now going to hit some Panzer Grenadier in the face. There's an MG42 over here in the truck. Maybe waiting uh, for an opening here in order to unload right in the house. But who knows? Thirty-seven mil, just about to be unloaded soon. There's also a ZSU M15 over there. 
But there you go, the JU-188 is going back into the base for resupplying it. So we don't have a lot of movement. There's there is a M4 Sherman coming in. It's gonna try to go into town and uh, stop the Grenadier from moving in. The Grenade still shooting. It's gonna try to get any infantry retreating. My my bet is he he wants the shell to drop there, and it dropped right there, inflict him severe suppression damage to these units. Now the Panzer Grenadier are gonna go out in the open. In order to use their machine gun, which makes, uh, which is what makes this unit so very good. Pinned down by the Grilly shooting and uh, very real danger of them surrendering. But there, the cavalry is coming back up. Let's see what they can do over there. The ISU is going to retreat from, from nothing. Just shoot and retreat. Oh, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous, but he goes through nonetheless. He's going to take some position into the house over here. And uh, now he'll be able to encircle these Panzer Grenadier if everything goes to plan. Here we are. All right. And it doesn't actually look like he's going to be able to capture. So this is unfortunate. The Zistri is starting to shoot its HG shell at the Panzer Grenadier over there. Oof, 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 Panzer, I mean, uh, Zistri, under a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure to perform right now, and he's just not performing. Alright, these two behemoths have advanced, let's take a closer look at these guys. Oh, look at these, wow. Look at that, how beautiful is this? Oh, this is so beautiful. All right. Ooh. S oh my lord. Did you see the explosion over there? It's sexy time. Oh, everyone is shooting now. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Anyway, well, personally, I could stand like that all day long and watching them fire, but uh, I know you guys don't actually enjoy the same thing I do. Uh, gun jam on that Mcha. Either the Pack 40 or the SPW. I would bet the Pack 40 though. Sounds more plausible. Where is Stump Pioneer? Gonna take care of the Tenko Descent Niki. I'm thinking. Uh, just one more flame. There you go. Gets the flame. Doesn't actually. Doesn't actually kill it. The machine gun's gonna finish it. There you go. Pin down. Surrenders. More MCHAs coming in. Eight one Mortar is going to put some smoke a little bit behind. Um, maybe should have put some smoke more around here to stop this guy from shooting. We'll try to get the kill with the Panther D, but doesn't get it first shot, so he's going to start retreating. Very good move as well. Shoot once, retreat, and fight another day. And this assures the players, basically, that their tank is always going to get the first shot. And this is what you want in a tank engagement. If you do not get the first shot, the enemy will. And, I mean, with, with each shot, they get more accuracy, meaning you get more chance of dying. So always try to get the first shot. Very good play from Skoder around here. Over here in town, Skoder did lose some ground, and uh, the 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 M the M4 Shermans are not gonna do a lot of that. Medge with that pack 40 position right there. As I say, he starts shooting, and what is going on here? Oh, the the, the M is gonna start to make a run for it in order to go kill the Grilly. Will he succeed? No, he's probably going to die now. No, 
Still survive. How long can he go without dying? Another missed shot, maybe? No. Here's the shot. And oh, there you go. There's the M4 Sherman dying under the pressure of the pack 40. What a game, what a game. Another M shot is coming in, though. He will definitely be able to take care of the Gilly. JU-188 still in the sky. ZSU is shooting at it, though. Plus, the machine gun of these tanks, uh, these uh, late war tanks had anti-air machine gun attached to them. Panzer IV, two stars, gonna come in as well. Help out the Panther D. And there you go, it's gonna be falling back. There is a Panzer IV going for the middle of town. Um, really has actually no ammo left, so this is... Uh, this is a big deal. They only do start with 15, it looks like, which uh, seems a little low. It seems to remember that they had 30 shells. Maybe that was changed um, in recent days. But anyway, most people do not get their grilly to survive the 15 shells, which is uh, why I personally don't take them. I, I, I don't find them that good because they always die under my care. But it looks like Skoder... Uh, has really got a knack to keep these guys alive. Panther G is going to start aiming at the M4 over here. Oof. M4 is going to start shooting back, but we'll have to retreat as the Panther G is a much better foe. Another grill coming in. This time in the middle of town to protect that this area from uh, nothing for now. SPW231 is ranking supreme against the infantry because none of them have a oh, nice try here on the side shot. None of them have uh, a AT capacity, but there goes the Valentine. Kills it. Panzer 4 versus ISU, it looks like. Oh, Panther G dies. Penetration on the IS-2. Now he just needs another shot. Oof. Panther D dies. But the IS-2 dies as well. That's 220 points down the drain for Gonzo. But, you know, not completely down the drain. Took care of a lot of Panthers. Over here there's an Opel Bliss coming in. But there is still an Emcha there with a Gavardia unit. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Eighty-one mils gonna start shooting at uh, what used to have something there, but unfortunately doesn't see it now. Fifty-nine for Gonzo as he captures these two flags. Emcha did die though, probably to the Panzer IV. Yeah, and another Panther D is coming. Oh, there's a Verfamen on the map. He's gonna be shooting at the ISU. Hopefully, he kills it. But he's only got. Uh, he only shot three. Uh, he's actually not shooting there. He was. He's aiming now. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. The Grilly now dies. Gavardia DP takes care of both the supply truck and the Grilly, which is very, very bad for Skoder. These are hard losses. Another Ice 2, 1944. How much can Gonzo spawn Ice 2s? It's unbelievable, but here he is spending... Uh, 220 points for uh, things that die so easily. It's sad, it's sad, but, uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do. All right, 12-12 back for both players, both Giants, both top players of the game. 
And uh, they select quite the particular division, especially Gunzo playing out with third third guard tank corps. Anyway, uh, OB25 plus Resistry is going to take care of both these machine guns, no doubt. Oof. Lucky that this didn't die. Well, now that they both unloaded, not so sure they are going to be overwhelmed, but uh, you never know. You never know. Alright, Panther doing some ground. Some good area control. Now, Panzer IVs are going to move on the side. Panther D shooting at the artillerists over there. No doubt. Panzer... Oh, no! At the IS-2! And he cannot... Okay, there you go. He aims... Shoot! Doesn't score, for sure. It looks like Skoder actually locked down this area pretty well. There is a pack 40, there's some Panzer IV, there's a SDKFZ. There's nothing that's going to come here and cause problem for his route of uh, reinforcement that is coming right here. Otherwise, the blue player really has to capture this. Uh, this because this kind of dictates the whole open ground mission type of thing. This and that hill, obviously. All right, we're going to advance time just a little bit because this is a long game after all. Panther D is going to do some killing of the half-track. Over here, another Panther. It's a Panther G this time with the Panther D over here. And there you go. A lot of reinforcement coming up there for town. Sapei, Gavardia, Artillerist. Okay, the Wolframen is going to start shooting. Let's watch that. Wolframen is going to start shooting at the IS-2. Over here it looks like a, 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 a Panzer push. Oh, there you go. He's going to weaken the IS-2 and then he's going to push with the tanks. And there you go. Gets a side shot from the uh, Panzer IV. One of them is going to hit them. No, 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 no. Will he get away? Dies from the Verframen. Really nice play from Schroeder, actually. Um, shot Verframen at it. Oh, even the ISU dies. But yeah, shot the Verframen so that the ISU had no choice than to retreat. By retreating, showing his side armor, which allowed, you know, the three tanks he had engaged. One of them allowed to, to kill the IS-2. Brilliant tactic. That was brilliant. Another IS-2 coming in, <laughs> and now it's like two IS-2s on the map here. Uh, the ones over here did die. It's unfortunate. I think he could have went, you know, there. But anyway. Because these were pretty close range. Close range indeed. Opel Blitz going to come in and resupply the Verframen. Over here, the 81 mil Aftrack has not shot a single fire since uh, he was called in. So I see huge waste of potential here, uh, right here. All right, let's advance time a little bit because uh, this is going to get unnecessarily long. IS-2s, IS-2s, shooting at the enemy. More Stone Pioneers going to try to get into the forest, but they're going to be met with what? And SU-85, they're going to be met with Gavardia. It's going to be very difficult for them to take over. Over here in the middle, we have a little push of a recon car. It's 
same old, same old in the town. Uh, players are pushing, but not a lot of uh, uh, not a lot of uh, territory gained. Panzer IVs trying to hit the IS-2s, not gonna succeed uh, for sure. Oof, ouch, this kind of hurts. Now the Panzer gonna do below, he's moving in. Buffhamen shooting up. Might get the ISU 152 as a kill. Who knows? There you go, he's starting to shoot. Kills the Aftomachiki. Oh no, well, reduce it. Reduce the effectivity. Uh, looks like uh, there's actually an IS that died around here. Good for uh, Skoder. Over here, we have nothing happening, but it looks like there's going to be some kind of a push with the machine gun getting position. Uh, now this guy might... Oh, no, yeah. He's not going to... He's going to use some smoke. Okay. Nice choice. Nice choice. Over here, Gavardia is going to try to come in for that flag, I do believe, with the M4 Shaman. Could, do, uh, could be a good duo against each other. SU-85 has been called in one star, so he does have more. Uh, there is a third one there. Uh, these guys, as a wolf pack, they can work good. Um, but, you know, honestly, on their own, they're not that good. <laughs> Wolframen shooting again at the SU-85. Will he seize that in time and retreat? Yeah, he will. Oof. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, well, they're just gonna fall back. They're still alive. Everything is good in that department. There you go. Pinter G kills the Amcha. Another Pentergy coming in over here. There's a Panzer IV that could also sandwich the uh, IS-2. But it looks like uh, Schroeder has forgotten about it. Lose the Panther in here. Now it's a 2v1 uh, frontal armor. What is going on, guys? What is going on? Yeah, Skoder doesn't really attack. I mean, it's almost not his job to attack. He only needs to hold the flags, but still, depending on how uh, big his deck, how deep his deck is, um, could be a problem. Could be a problem. 15 minutes left to the game. There's not much happening, guys. There isn't much happening. Let's advance the time just a little bit. There's a little bit of for a fight here, and it's for sure... The Sherman is going to eliminate all of these threats, no problem. But there's a Panzer IV coming in. Could be killed by the uh, M4 Sherman still. Alright, two pronged assault from the Panzer IV. One on the right, one on the left. And there you go. Alright, the Hamel is shooting there. He kind of forgets there's his own troops there. The uh, SU-85 get a turret struck from the Panther D. Congrats, congrats, my friend. Very hard to do. A lot of reinforcement coming in. Nine minutes into the game, and it looks like uh, Gonzo actually has the advantage here. What will happen during those nine minutes? 
It could be that Gunzel's gonna make one big huge push and capture everything. It could be that uh, Schroeder lost, uh, ran out of units to fight with. Who knows? But there goes Gunzel capturing this part. All right. Uh, almost nothing going on over here. Oh, and. And there you go. This is Coder surrendering. Uh, 43 minute game. Good thing I advanced that because it would have been really long. 32 to 31. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, in the in the kill that. IS 244 did not do much, but it did kill a Panther. But yeah. OB 25 did well as well. Even killed a Panther. <laughs> they do have heat rounds though. Valentine tree. ISU 152. Holy. One, two, three, four, five machine gun team. Congrats, my friend. Congrats. IS-244 as well. And uh, the losses. Grilly did good. Grenadier. Panther. Alright, guys. Well, that was it. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I hope you've enjoyed it really uh like making these and uh, we'll see you for next video thanks for watching goodbye have a nice day